All right, let's get started. This is Sack I See. Welcome. Oh, I catch just breathing a lot, popping. Okay. All right, what is Sack I See? Sack I See is a city sack. A city sack is an unaffiliated collection of informal meetups for like minded security professionals. City sack groups meet to discuss topics of interest in a non work, non vendor setting. We meet on the fourth Wednesday of every month, which you guys know because you're here. And we are a registered 501c3 nonprofit. Disclaimer, uh, we exist as an educational entity. We do not condone any illegal activity. Um, code of conduct, too long, don't, didn't read, don't be an ass. Um, you know, we won't tolerate any sort of harassment or anything. It's never been an issue, but um, you know, if, you, if, it's, if it's an issue, let one of the board members know. All right, uh, so this is stolen directly from SEC DSM. and stole it from SEC KC. We're here to challenge ideas and not people. So, um, you know, it's fine if you disagree with someone, um, but remember you're, you're here to challenge, challenge the idea. Um, don't make it personal. Um, you know, be civil. All right, business in the front, party in the back. Uh, food and drink, uh, food should be up. It'll be on that sidebar when it comes up. Uh, we've got a bar, so uh, full bar back there, soda up there. Um, clean up after yourselves, just throw away your trash. Um, bathrooms are just straight back. And do we have any first timers? Everyone's been here before? One guy, awesome. All right, uh, we'll hand out stickers. So stickers are over there. Everyone gets a sticker. Uh, our sponsor this month is ProCircular. Um, they are a local information security company, uh, so hit them up if you need anything. Uh, their website, ProCircular.com, at ProCircular on the Twitters. So thank, thank you for, to them for sponsoring this month. Tonight's agenda, 101, we're doing it, news will be next. Uh, first talk is Matt doing what's in a Fisher's tackle box, breaking down fishing kits. And the second talk is Rob doing shell, Q, shell execute UAC lab passes. Next month, we don't have anything uh, lined up, so um, sign up, come give a talk. So please do this one. Um, yeah, best thing you can do to help us is volunteer, or uh, volunteer to come speak. Uh, we need content. You guys probably get sick of hearing us all the time, so come and, come and speak. Doesn't have to be like zero day or an O day, that's their goal. Um, you know, if you're if you got a tool you like using, come give a talk on it. If you've got anything, you know, security adjacent, give a talk on it. We'd love to hear it. So these are your board members. Best way to get a hold of us is on Slack, which is the next slide. But secic.org at sec underscore IC. Uh, I think if you email anything at secic.org, it hits one of us. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've got a bit.ly link for YouTube because we still don't have that custom URL because YouTube sucks. Uh, sorry, YouTube. Um, Slack, we've got 95 people on it. Go to our site, scroll down, or click Slack on the top, sign up, and something, and then you profit. So that's the best way to get a hold of us. Upcoming cons, uh, Wild West Hacking Fest is today. <laughs> Tomorrow, so you guys probably won't be going. Um, otherwise, I think it's pretty much next year. I, there's some other cons that are on here, but these are kind of the ones that we're definitely going to be going to, besides Iowa uh, and Circle City Con. You know, for those of you who've been here a few times, you know that Circle City Con is, is the one that we like to harp on because it's, it's relatively cheap, it's accessible, you can drive there from here. Did Iowa get moved? Yeah. 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 Oh, I yeah, it's April 20th. Good call. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if anybody who's looking for a first, good first con to go to, um, you know, besides Iowa is awesome. And then I'd also recommend hitting up Circle City Con because uh, training's free. It's, it's a nominal fee to reserve a spot. It's like five bucks, but um, get a ticket and, and they do t full training all three days. So it's, it's awesome. So um, hit up the events and cons channel and slick, sec IC Slack to, to talk about that more. Uh, and speaking of conferences, we have uh, SecDSM has a conference scholarship. So all the black badges that are won throughout the throughout the year, um, they use those to send other people to cons. So they take applications at secdsm.org/scholarship. Um, 
Uh, last time I heard, I think they had people, a bunch of people interested in the DEF CON one, but um, they do have two Circle City Con badges. They've got the, a ThoughtCon badge, GearCon, um, Wild West Hacking Fest. So um, go to the website if you're interested in, in uh, applying for the scholarship. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I took the Rich Mondra out, but uh, yeah, Zach's not here. But this would be Zach. Um, I don't know. Do we even have merch? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> You want to do the merch? We have patches. So yeah, if you guys uh, enjoy what we're doing, go ahead and uh, we have merch for sale. We have patches for sale for $5. If you don't want to pay the $5, you can always give a talk and you get one for free. Uh, we also have blockchains for sale somewhere in the back. So if you're looking for a blockchain, uh, we have that. I think those, uh, you basically donate what you want, uh, and with that, we can go ahead and lead into the financial transparency. Blockchains or the matches. And I actually got a Velcro back by the speech. Or if you come speak, you get one free. Next one's for me. Yeah. Nope. Not sure what it's like. It does. Let's see if you put the. So we'll go ahead and do the financial transparency. So the previous month, uh, we had $985. Uh, our expenses were $140 on pizza. Uh, we spent $117 on this fine microphone and uh, some other AV equipment. Uh, income, uh, we had $12 in donations and badges. We really appreciate that. Uh, that money helps pay for the pizza and, and our other expenses. We also had $100 uh, that we made from the shirts. And you'll see something kind of weird at the bottom there. The sponsorship uh, shows at zero, even though we do have one this month. So ProCircle actually paid us back in February. Uh, so that money was actually counted back then. That's why it's showing up as zero right now. So that's a total net loss of $145. And so the current bank account is sitting at eight, around $840. And there you can kind of see a nice little graph. Uh, like I said, oops, I think it was actually March. You can see that fairly large divot up. That's when that uh, the pro circular uh, sponsorship was counted. And from that, we'll go ahead and go to the news. Uh, yeah. okay. I heard that. Oh, that's an old one, so I really screwed that up. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's fine. All right, news. So first item on the news is uh, that the uh, WhatsApp video chat um, issue, the Google Project Zero security researcher was the one who found the vulnerability. It was a memory heap overflow triggered by a malformed RTP packet via video call request. So um, WhatsApp has patched this. Uh, I think it was end of November for Android and beginning of October for iPhone. So um, if you haven't downloaded the updated WhatsApp and you're using it, you should do that. <laughs> Next is libssh. Uh, I'm sure you guys probably heard of this. Um, so it was an authentication bypass flaw that was actually introduced back in 2014, uh, just recently discovered. Uh, the way it works is that if you send an SSH2 message user off success, Instead of, um, I think it was like a request instead of success. Yeah, if you, if you just went ahead and sent the, send the success, it granted you access. That was discovered by uh, NCC Group and it was responsibly disclosed. I think that's good to point out. Um, turns out uh, LibSSH is more common on the client side, so um, there were a lot of a lot of servers exposed on Shodan, but um, a lot of a lot of big enterprises were reporting that they they weren't affected because. On the server side, F5 load balancer is a big one, though. Yeah, yeah. Was that that was the one of the back the back end for the proxy? Yeah, we did proxy for the proxy. All right, this one's kind of neat. Um, right now, 60% of Americans of Northern European descent can be identified whether they have submitted DNA samples or not. 
due to uh, services like, uh, what is it, Ancestry.com and 23andMe. Um, and researchers expect that within two or three years, it will be 90%. Um, this has already been used to identify 15 suspects in murder and sexual assault cases, including the Golden State Killer. So that's kind of interesting. This one just came out today. Uh, Gray Key can no longer crack the passcodes of Apple devices running iOS 12. Um, 12 and up. So um, if you're on an iOS device, you're probably on 12, but if you're not, you should get there. Um, previously, they were able to brute force any iPhone, uh, any uh, iOS device. And uh, now all they can do is, is pull unencrypted files and some folder metadata, so they're pretty useless. And the last one is a uh, derby cap. So um, if you guys weren't at Derby Con, which most of you weren't, you missed the chance to speak to John McAfee. Um, we were in the car hacking uh, village, and we were able to get John McAfee on a speakerphone, and he tweeted out the phone that Will had hooked up, and um, yeah, we, we started getting some really interesting phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of neat. All right, last is John. So there any, uh, anybody want to announce a job opening, or anyone want to, you know, put themselves up here and say you're looking for a job? Anybody, anybody? There were a couple on Slack. Yep. So there was like a three month contract to hire. Uh, they're looking for a pen tester in the morning. Yep. Um, there's at least one or two more. That's another good reason to join Slack if you're not there. Yeah, there is a, there is a jobs channel on Slack, so, uh, you know, join that. All right. Talks are up next. Grab some pizza, get some drinks, and uh, first talk will be right at 6.30.